like this if yeah. I do this. Should. Cool. Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to Tiger Radio, broadcasting uh, live out of the Twin Cities on Wednesday, the 10th of October, part two of our conversation on this afternoon edition, uh, which has, has brought about some very favorable things, including the inclusion of, of Heather Lynn in the studio here with me and with the sidekick, Victoria. Hi, Heather Lynn. Hi, how's it going? Great. You're going to snuggle right up to that mic. Okay, snuggle. Talk right into it just like it's... Quite cozy. Get cozy Just with like the it's microphone. important, Heather. Heather okay. Lynn, you are a uh, you are a poet and a musician and a an mm. advocate and a social do-gooder and lots of things. <laughs> and we get to talk about all that stuff today, don't we? I have lots of good intentions in those areas. <laughs> at I love least. it. <laughs> love it. And um, <laughs> and you uh, those intentions have turned into an album, at least one or two. Do you have two yeah, albums? Yeah, I have two. One is one is kind of the self-titled debut album. And the other one is Story Dwelling that we released last fall. Yes. And then we're really excited because one of the songs was just released yesterday as a music video. And it's really beautiful. And lots of people have been enjoying that online. We I've the seen web that. Yesterday. Yes, it's Did you great. watch it? Yeah, I did watch it. I did oh, watch it. And, and in fact, um, I mean, you are, you are uh, nationally known, you know, because I was in North Carolina showing a Facebook profile of a friend that lives in San Antonio to a girl who's in now in North Carolina and just moved there from Vancouver and on his Facebook uh, status that day was uh, at that time was oh. your uh, was your video that's really nice yeah so I didn't follow then that she whole saw it <laughs> <necessarily> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes so but I did really see cool. it and so did other people yeah, yeah. So it's sort of, did. it's yeah. sort of. Um, it was really nice. It's sort of all over. Um, okay, yeah. so 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 tell are you, are you yeah. gonna do the song for us live, right? I it's, I can if you want to. I thought I I'd do. bring my. I this right. is the first time I've had my ukulele since uh, the last time I was on the show. So uh, there's all kinds of things we could do. I could share with you a fun little new love song on my ukulele. Oh, yes. Um, I could share with you some poetry I brought in. Because I don't know what your I next album idea is. Because ukulele love songs. I yeah. think there's a future there. Oh, I think so too. Wouldn't that be fun? It ukulele could be, love it could songs, be really just nice. love brings, songs from the ukulele. It brings me lots of joy to play love songs on my ukulele. And and it actually could be, um, you know, a place for all that lost Hawaiian music. <laughs> sure. Do they play ukuleles? Is that is that what it is? Are, are ukuleles? In Hawaii? Yeah. Yeah. That they like? call them ukuleles. Oh yeah. Well, fabulous. But, yeah. Well, well, let's do that. Let's let's okay. let's let's hear some ukulele music. Okay. Um, Sounds good. And this is a love song that you put together. Yeah. Who, it's who a true you, story. Who were you thinking of? My husband. Oh. It's actually the story of when we got together. Really. It's a true story. <laughs> Darling, I just want to be with you. Spending time together the whole day through Hold me close, don't let me go Cause darling, I just want to be with you Darling, I just want to be with you We fell in love in the green springtime in Minneapolis True story You held my hand for the very first time As we walked in the sun Around Lake Harriet And you said, darling I just want to be with you Spending time together this whole day through Don't let me go Cause darling, I just want to be with you Darling, I just want to be with you Our love, it grew with the glistening greens With tulips pink and yellow And by the month of June we knew our love was true beneath summer's fireworks you asked me to marry you and i said darling i just want to be with you spend our days together 
together my whole life through. Hold me close, don't let me go. Cause darling, I just want to be with you. Darling, I just want to be with you. Now the only thing that's certain is uncertainty. But one thing I know, when winter brings its cold, I want to be the one who holds you and keeps you warm. Cause darling, I just want to be with you. Spend our days together my whole life through. Cause darling, I just want to be with you Darling, I just want to be with you Hey, how about that? <laughs> That's super fun. How does, um, Thank you. When, when you put together a song like that, like how, how does that happen? Uh, hmm. Is that something that you, um, the ditty came to your head or you were strumming along the ukulele um, and then you had to build 80% of it or sure. it was sort of right there? Like how, how does, how does that happen? It happens different ways with different songs. This time with this song I was watching Hulu and I think there was a commercial with a ukulele song that sort of oh. inspired me. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> and you thought I don't have enough ukulele oh, songs. Not uh, since the last well, time on that well, radio I show if I, if yeah. I played a... But you have a ukulele laying around, so that's that's that. that. Now, now, when 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 you when you sang this to your to your to your love affair, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> is it before it's done? Does he do, do you share music with people before you you've got it together? Like, what's your what's your process with that? Sometimes uh, with this one, I actually don't remember. I think I played it for him before I shared it with other people. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I do not remember. Mm -hmm. But uh, it depends. Sometimes I, uh, like, I brought this piece of poetry with me that I think will turn into a song. But it's just not quite ready to be sung yet. Yeah. So, but I think that it has something to say that might be meaningful for this time. So sometimes I feel compelled to share, yeah. like, the poetry. But, but you know, not quite the song yet if it's not quite ready. And, and are you writing songs all the time? Do you, do you I feel wish like, I were. You, I want to be writing more. It, it, yeah. it, it comes more in seasons, yeah. like it, it happens does. at times and, yeah. and, and other times. And have you figured out in your, your writing career what what elements go into that? Like what makes mm -hmm. you write more music at some time? Do, do you have any sense or is it just yeah. is it just uh, random enough where you can't figure out It's any? a little bit random right now, but lately I've been spending a lot of time. I started studying piano again this summer. Oh. I've been kind of working on ukulele and guitar and piano, and so just kind of learning more in, about being a musician, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so building my palette, I think, to to write more. Give, gives you new mm -hmm. sounds. Is that what happens? Like mm -hmm. it, it creates new a new inspiration. Uh -huh. And I I think I want to work on some of the older songs and redo them because I think they've they've gained new life over the past couple of years since oh. releasing that debut album. Yeah. And like yeah, whenever that was, that mm -hmm. was a while ago now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. tell us you you also have some projects up and coming that yeah. you're uh, that, that you're excited about. One that's happening uh -huh. tomorrow. Yes, uh, we tend to call this "Love in the Glove Box," okay. and uh, tomorrow we're meeting with a group of friends at the Buzz the Buzz Coffee Cafe. Mm -hmm. It's on Burnsville Parkway in Burnsville. Six or six thirty, we're getting together, and people are bringing things uh, like Ziploc bags and gloves and mittens and hand warmers. And these are uh, for the purpose of putting together some care packages to just have in our glove boxes mm. for those moments when we come to an intersection and someone might be standing there with a cardboard box. And, mm. you know, a group of friends nice. and I were just talking about this and we were kind of like, like rather okay, than giving it to an organization to distribute mm -hmm. only through their system, it's like have, have your own little mm -hmm. stash. Yeah, I mean, what do you guys that? do when you come to those intersections? Do you have... I go into some existential thinking? crisis about why uh -huh. either the city doesn't do something about that or why the person is in a situation where they can't access the mm -hmm. resources available by the city. And mm -hmm. usually somewhere around that time, the light changes and I can drive through then peacefully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. That's what I do. Yeah. Truthfully, I, I worry. I, I do different things and sometimes I do give and sometimes I don't just based. And sometimes my kids will give. They'll get really upset. Mm. And so then we have to have conversations about how we give money to certain organizations, try to try to support people. Mm -hmm. And it's it's always very complicated. Mm -hmm. 
But this is a lovely idea because then you can contribute something without um, knowing someone, but it's cold and there's something that anybody would need standing out there Mm -hmm. in the cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's quite a dilemma and a lot of us aren't comfortable giving money or maybe we don't have it. You know, sometimes people do reach for change. I like to say in this, we're reaching for a different kind of change. Nice. Just because we're, yeah, right. It's super clever, right? Yeah, very clever. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're more clever than all the other animals um, Lord God has made. <laughs> so we're just, I don't know. We're just, it's just a group of people getting together and bringing small gifts. And mm-hmm. then we'll kind Great of idea. put them together. And I'll share a few songs and uh, and some thoughts. And then we'll just pack some care packages. and. Mm-hmm. And we'll leave some there at the buzz for people to take, for people that come in and frequent the coffee yeah. shop, for them to take and, um, and, and distribute. And, uh, well, and, and even more, I mean, it, as great of an idea as it is, and as good mm. of um, outcome as there's going to be out of it, it, it really taps at even a better impulse, right? Which is wanting people to be able to have something that they want to do to be helpful yeah. to actually be able to do it. We've right? seen and a like, lot Isn't of that really what it's... I think so. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people want to move with kindness. Yeah. And I think a lot of people don't want to be judgmental. I think we're often left and stuck with just thoughts and ideas that our society, right. that are just kind of prevalent in our society. But I think we kind of all have this tendency and longing for that human connection and to not just look away and to to respond in a way that's meaningful and helpful and yeah. kind. I think so. We've seen a lot of faces sort of light up and go, oh, wow. I want to do that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a that's mm-hmm. terrific idea. Mm-hmm. And did you have a particular? Did you tell me you had a song that goes with that? I can't remember what you yeah, told me about I could, this. Yeah, I could. I could play Jack Riddle for you. All right, mm-hmm. great. Oh, oops, excuse well, me. Well, there goes the ukulele. <laughs> the ukulele <laughs> heard Jack song. heard heard the title of the song and said, "Hey, uh, we want a little bit of this." Yeah. Let's see. Should we play that now? Should I sing that now? Yes. Right now? Okay. Are you Are you okay with that? I'm ready. Yeah. Let's Let's sing that now. My name is Jack Riddle and I sit on the bench at Parkway in March Watching all the people who pass me by People here stay the same, you know, it's the same old game, the same old show The rich stay rich and the poor stay low, you know. They say that I can't stay here. They say my hands don't touch this sky. They say that I can't stay. And they say, and they say, and they say. But my name is Jack Folks here stay away from me They tell me I need more to my feet Comb your hair Jack, rub the dirt away from the seams Hey, Mr. Pastor Man, the service was fine. I came on down to stand right in line with Mary the Saints and Jesus, that friend of mine. He's a friend of mine, I say. Mm-hmm. But they say that I can't stay here. They say my hands don't touch this sky. They say that I can't stay. And they say, and they say, and they say. Sunday morning the bell will ring. I'll stay in my heart by my West Virginia stream. Don't you worry, I'll stay away. Perhaps my Lord might visit me today. Mm -hmm. But they say that I can't stay here. They say my hands don't 
touch this sky They say that I can't stay And they say, and they say, and they say But my name is Jack My name is Jack Riddle My name is Jack and you know where I'll be That's fantastic. It's one of um, <laughs> I think it's one of one of those really really thoughtful songs that you've mm. that you've put together. You you It was written by my friend Melissa uh-huh. Marley Bonnickson. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes, uh, obviously, the play of that song. Sometimes people don't know Jack. <laughs> no, clever. did I just pick that so up? Am clever. I more clever than that, than that author? <laughs> that is think, true. Yeah, you know, that's the problem. Is that they don't they don't know that they they don't know that Jack Riddle. That's true. Um, all right. So tell us a little about this. Um, you you have this album out and a new music video with us. Let's talk yeah. a little bit about that music video.